I don't know if you can see all this traffic, but uh, it's packed up like a mile already in the morning. Uh, it's Tuesday, September 3rd, day after Labor Day. Everybody going back to work. And uh, this road is backed up. Well, not always. Most of the time backed up. So... I am just glad I am going in the other direction for my morning drive. So let's get our morning drive on. I had some weird uh, vibrations in the car. I didn't know what they were. I didn't know if I had a flat tire or what. So I had to pull over on the highway. But uh, tires look good. So I have no idea. Um, this old girl has so many thousand miles on it. There we go. 120,000 miles on it. I heard some clicking when I when I back up or when I turn from a stop. So that's the telltale signs of your CV boots have ripped and your CV joints are exposed. Hopefully I caught it on time. I still hear a little bit of clicking after I place the boots or the one boot, both boots are are torn. Um, I replaced the driver's side one. And uh, anyway, I'm thinking about doing a series called My Redneck Bends because um, in order to replace the boot with a regular Mercedes Benz boot, it would take a lot of time and a lot of money uh, and tools I don't have. So I got those one of those split boots, and I, I put it on the left, and it seems to be holding up pretty good. I don't know if that vibration is because of that new boot I put on there or not, but we'll see. I'll have to check it out tonight when I get home, uh, Plus, because i, I got to change the other side, too. Uh, today's snack for breakfast is the Walmart brand chocolate cupcake, or chocolate snack cake. There's a lot of things uh, going on with the car, so that's why I wanted to do my my Redneck Benz series, uh, the, the back window stopped working, well, it, there's a piece that broke and I propped it up and I got a video on that, and then, of course, the CV boot, I didn't, I didn't video that, because I'm still learning how to do it, but I, I think I got the process down so I can video the other side, and then, uh, I got some rust spots on it, got some touch-up paint, not an exact match, but, it's close enough just to uh, just to stop the rust and, and protect it. Um, this car is going to go to my son when he starts driving, so uh, I'm not too worried about aesthetics. I had a hoopty when I was growing up, so uh, just be glad he's got a car, right? All right. Smells chocolatey. That's a good start. Not too sweet, sweet enough. Ah, oh, there's a cream filling. Mm. You know, I am very, very impressed with Walmart baked goods. Of course, Walmart the employees of Walmart aren't exactly making them, but the Walmart Walmart brand. I don't know where they're getting them, but they are very good. I like it. Oh wow, that's good. The texture, the frosting, the flavor. Mm, not too sweet, chocolatey. Wow, that's good. Definitely gonna be getting more of those. Say what you want about Walmart, man. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's just like anything. Um, remember when you, you saw the, the little Made in Japan thing and People kind of turn their nose up. Oh, what are you buying that for? That's made in Japan. Well, look at stuff made in Japan now. You know, Sony's, Honda's. I can't remember what I got the other day that said made in China, but it was really, really good. I was really surprised how good the quality was. Um, heck, all the stuff we buy, electronic-wise, like Motorola. I got a, a, a Motorola phone. That was... Uh, you know, you open the back of it, 
made in China. So, uh, say what you want. <clears throat> it's, uh, it provides a low-cost alternative, and sometimes you can't even find a non, <laughs> a not made in China thing. And politically, I understand. I, I get the, you know, why you don't want to support China. To me, I don't want to get into a big political discussion, but it's all it's all kabuki. And I mentioned it in a lot of comments to to people whose channels I watch, and that we are led in a certain direction, whether we want to be led in that direction or not. Um, even <laughs> even if you want to live off the grid, you're gonna be affected eventually by the powers that be um, and my observation is and my faith tells me that uh, you know I really only have ooh there was a tree that fell over a uh, power line anyway <laughs> my faith tells me that there's only one true true power and one true leader so Yes, I worry. I'm, I'm human. I worry about things, and I do what I can. But you know, when when I'm turned back to dust, it it doesn't matter. It doesn't. You know, I I try to live my life according to my faith and and do right by others, and that's pretty much all we can do. Even at the height of the Russian Empire, you know, there were people doing good. There were people. Um, fighting the power, so to speak, uh, even the height of the of the Nazi regime. So, what I'm saying is, take heart, my friends. Uh, worry, sure, uh, if it makes you feel better, but just live your life. Um, sure, take participate in the political system. Do what you can. Um, but if it doesn't go your way, don't give up. Take heart and and know that things will get better. They will. Uh, stay strong. <laughs> That's my morning drive. Take care. A little excitement today. Had a stray bullet come through the window in the office here. And uh, went all the way across the room. through that wall from there and then when you go outside you see the, the exit wound right there next to that frame and it went across the room and came, in, came out well hit this wall and then the outside walls I well, can't see it but it's that concrete type stuff but see the trajectory uh, it's came out here and hit here it's uh, bigger because the cops came by and dug out this lug but it was from a uh, 40 cal see the concrete back there so I guess I'll be looking for some body armor. <laughs>